uh, we will take up another problem um, of the type where we are supposed to represent a vector um, which is given in a picture to convert that into a mathematical form uh, as a vector okay so in this case so let, let me explain the problem uh, here there is a um, pipe like that which is connected to a wall something like that at the point o and then um, the axis first you understand this is the x direction this is the y direction and this is the z direction so this pipe the horizontal portion is coming in the x direction but then a 90 degree turn in the pipe is there but then this segment is not in the xz plane but it is tilted by 30 degree with this line which is parallel to the z axis that means if you now try to see the system from say x direction see, if i look from this so the picture will look something like this so so this may be the wall okay and the pipe uh, is somewhere here and it comes out this portion and then this bend is like this okay and this angle um, this angle is 30 degrees and then there is this uh, string attached b to c and that goes somewhere like that so this is a point c okay and so so this is the view from positive x okay so this is the view now and then the, it is also known that there is a force of 750 newton is acting there okay so there is a force which exists on this string it is um, some by some mechanism um, this tension has been developed and we are supposed to find out this force or we are supposed to represent this force which is shown here pictorially uh, as a mathematical entity as a vector okay now suppose again uh, because it, it looks like a tension um, and this tension we have to represent as a force acting on b because if it is said that the force which is acting on c it will be exactly opposite because on c it will be acting like this uh, but we are now uh, asked to represent this as a force acting at b now for that what we need to do again uh, as we always say now t should be represented as unique vector form in this case because again the magnitude is known that means t magnitude is known and we just have to find out the t hat that is a unique vector okay now the unique vector for this direction we can calculate if we can calculate so again i'll write it here so 750 t hat now t hat we can write as uh, this is bc arrow i say bc arrow divide by the length of bc okay that vectors so that means uh, again i'll say say bc vector divide by bc dotted with bc uh, and its uh, square root so that is what we need to do so that means it boils down to find out the vector bc um, or the arrow bc now how do we do how do we get that uh, the best way is to find out uh, suppose an arrow like this uh, which I'll call say rho vector. If I can find out rho, um, then and and if I can find out another vector, which color should I put? Say, yeah, say this. So I'll call it rho b. And this I'll call say rho c, okay? Because these are the two points for which we know um, the coordinates 
from the geometry it's very easy to find out these vectors rho b and rho c so that means now i'll call this bc so bc arrow or the vector is nothing but rho c minus rho b right now so then it boils down to just finding out this rho c and rho b now rho c is very easy rho c is clearly given it doesn't have any component in the x direction so 0 i uh, then in the positive direction it is 1.2 meters plus 1.2 j cap then uh, uh, no 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 so this is the z direction sorry for that so this is k 1.2 k right z direction 1.2 in y direction this is 0 0.7 so plus 0 0.7 j so this is rho c now what about rho b now to get rho b we have to travel it's slightly um, just slightly difficult we have to travel first in x direction because tail to tip we have to move parallel to the axis so first let's move in the positive x direction this much how much we will come 1.6 meters so to find out rho b uh, we had to come in the positive so 1.6 i in the positive direction then we have to come uh, something like uh, this much distance so say this distance right now here if if i want to show that so i'll have i'll have to come this much in the z direction and then i'll have to drop down um, i'll have to drop down this much in the uh, y direction so i'll say this is a b c is uh, no rho b no i'm writing that as rho b's um, z component and this one is rho b's um, uh, this is y component okay now uh, if i can write that then this vector can be written so how much will that be this length is known to be 0.8 meter so it's uh, cos theta component is uh, giving me so i'll write it now here um, so this is the cos theta component of 0.8 meter so plus 0 0.8 cosine of uh, that is how 30 degrees so 30 degrees uh, times j uh, sorry this is k okay so this is in the k direction and then and this was positive but now i had to go down so minus um, again this is the sin theta component of the same thing so 0 0.8 sin of 30 degrees mm, it's the j okay so now you have got everything rho b is known as a vector rho c is known as a vector so if you just substitute them here you get b c as a vector and just substitute here to get the thing and uh, if you do that uh, you will get t hat as i'll write here t hat uh, will come out to be um, so somehow it's hmm. minus Mm, 0 0.797 i plus 0 0.548 j plus 0 0.253 k okay uh, this minus is coming because you will subtract you know rho c minus rho b when you do a minus sign will come here and that's how the signs are okay so this is your uh, t hat 
and you just multiply that with 750 you will get the vector uh, t that represents the force uh, in this case okay so see you in another video with another problem uh, solution with of another problem see you